Welcome back to my little channel. I made this video a little ahead of schedule, so to speak, because I have a bunch of videos I wanted to post. But this is something that came to my attention today, and I thought this is something that you might like to hear about as well. So what am I on about? Okay. Now, we know the world is suffering from a pandemic event called the coronavirus, right? Okay. And America is trying to do what it can to protect its country, just like most other countries in the world, right? Okay, so far, we're all on agreement. Now, here's the funny thing. In America, the president is like, yeah, you know, maybe we need to do more to protect our country. I'm not really sure, but let's try and close the borders. Now, he has tried this before, basically saying not everyone is welcome in this country, so we're going to close the border for a bunch of people. And then, obviously, it got called the Muslim ban. Not that all Muslims were banned, but fair enough, they called it the Muslim ban. Now, however, Trump has closed the border from a lot of countries, including Europe. Europe has its own coronavirus, especially... If we look in in Italy, quite quite a big deal there. So Trump is like, you know what? Boom, close the border, not going to happen. And you may have noticed that there aren't any European countries complaining about that. Because let's be honest, it's a pandemic. We understand that you want to save what you can save, protect your country where you can. Or at least I understand that I assume most Europeans understand in retrospect, maybe we should have all closed our borders a little bit sooner. But, be that as it may. But here is the funny thing. And you know what? I'll, 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 I'll show you... I'll, I'll show you the, the... How do you call it? The, the article where people explain how Trump is... Kind of telling people, okay, you know what? There's going to be a restriction. This is an old article, actually, as you can see, it's, it's from 3 February. So they've been talking about it for a while, and, and people were kind of reluctant to do it. But in event, they did. And Europe is part of that travel ban. It doesn't say so in this article. Links will be provided downstairs. I'm not going to read it. Just so you know that this is a real thing, right? But there is still that strange ban for um, Islamic countries, which for some silly reasons the Democrats want to keep calling a Muslim ban. God knows why. I mean, it's not the Muslims that are banned. It's certain countries where terrorism and, and such is a big deal. Those countries are banned. But there are Muslims from other countries that are still welcome to go to America. So it's not a Muslim ban. But at this point in time, America wants to keep its border closed. The coronavirus said this before. And now the funny thing. There are Democrats who are sincerely looking to fight that Muslim ban. So at the time when other countries are basically prohibited from flying in as well, the Democrats are like, yeah, but we should allow Muslims back in. There's an extra reason for the travel ban. The travel ban is now not because Muslim. The travel ban is now because Corona. So if you ever need proof that the Democrats simply do not care about the Americans, I give you this. Because let's be honest... Okay, there is already corona in America. But can you blame the president for trying to limit its negative effect? I can't. I'm pretty sure most people can't. But when it comes to the Democrats, yeah, sure they can. Because, uh, yeah, we're restricting travel from a lot of countries. But we should not restrict countries that are 
predominantly Muslim, even though they have coronaviruses as well. I mean, it's a pandemic, it's everywhere. <laughs> I seriously can't help it. Iran is the third most affected country in the world, as far as we know, because let's be honest, we might not have all the numbers when it comes to Iran. They might not be as forthcoming with the truth as we would like them to be. I don't know, people. If anything, the Democrats seems to be hell-bent on losing the next presidential election. All I can say to my American followers, look at, look at the Democratic congressmen and, and Senate members that you have and, and check their individual voting behavior in cases like this and if they vote against america not against republican or against democratic interest against american interests let your vote count the next time when an election comes because these people they don't seem to care about you and if they don't care about you i'm not really sure why you should care about them but yeah, you know, I mean, I might be wrong and all that. It's uh, not the first time that I'm wrong. I am, however, quite sure that this is a problem. And I'm also quite sure that you, as an American, need to address this. Links will obviously be provided downstairs. And criticism, as always, is more than welcome. Is this indeed a Muslim ban still? Or should the coronavirus take precedent? And should we say, you know what? Yeah, lock the borders now. Especially because Democrats are all in favor of giving free health care to migrants, to, to immigrants, to refugees, to whatever you want to call them. Now, don't get me wrong. I really think that the whole corona thing might be overrated. I could be wrong, I'm not a doctor. But to blame a president for trying to prevent certain illnesses to get a bigger foothold in your country by banning just about all air travel is bad because Muslims shouldn't be banned. I don't get this, people. I seriously don't get this. Anyway, like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And I hope to see you all next time.